Hi guys and I'm Montes. We are doing Motorhead on Monty Style. Today we are doing the Mercedes-Benz GLB 250 and you're going to enjoy it because it's not so much different from the 2000 and 20 So let's take a look at her. This is the GLB 250. She is built on the A-Class and if you notice Mercedes always gives you that uh, emblem from diamond here and the emblem on top. If this was the AMG vehicle she would not have these two grills here. It'd be silver with some um, diamonds here, but this is not their base model. This is one of the upgraded models. So, welcome to Mercedes-Benz GLB 250. And just to let you know, engine is a 2.0, 221 horsepower, and this is a turbocharged four-cylinder. So, aggressively, yes, but take a look at the new design of the HD lights, which is great, and the um, LD, I'm sorry, and the LD, I can't even say that, and the LED lights, so. <laughs> I think that's funny because sometimes I mix up my words but yes they have a brand new LD high performance lights so I am really liking the GLB because the GLB has sort of a really nice compact look to it but it has a lot of power and 0 to um, 60 in 6.3 seconds they are telling me 6 seconds but I've been testing it out this week and it's only been 0 to 60 and 6.3 seconds it's what I've been getting but maybe because it's cold it doesn't give the car a great follow with air so let's take a look at the side guys come on down so guys we're talking about the GLB 250 but before I get into the amenities of this vehicle we have to give a appreciation to um, Mercedes-Benz of Orange County that actually gave us the um, car to review. So once again we are going to do this GLB. B250 and if you notice with the great uh, look of the side of this vehicle it is square it looks like a SUV but what I am enjoying they have actually put really nice size tires on it this is a size 19 which give this vehicle a better ride and most of the small compact SUVs don't give you that much of a great ride because of the loud noises from the tires but Mercedes always try to do it right and one thing that Mercedes does do is I enjoy them saying the best or nothing I and and I get that I really get that so as you take a great look at the vehicle see what an SUV is supposed to look like as a small compact car let's take a little peek on the inside as you can tell Mercedes has great ideas on giving you an SUV because if you notice these are really strong large doors and what I'm liking because I didn't see in the GLA you have nice good stitching and the interior looks really nice I'm not complaining you have your um, fake carbon fiber here which is in the GL a2 but if you notice the dashboard I'm going to cut on the car and everything lights up. I actually enjoy looking at this vehicle from the inside because it lights up, it makes you feel warm, it makes you feel uncomfortable. You get a nice beautiful 7 to 10 inch screen for the dashboard and what I'm liking is that the dark plastic is really done really well. You have a self charging um, port for your phone, you have two large cup holders and um, anything you really need to, to do is uh, is by touch which I am enjoying see I just turned on the radio just by touch but if you see you have your little scan pad here that if you want to go back home and do anything else and move things over this way move things over that way to get to the telephone the radio your media play your um, comfort and if you just say hey Mercedes how may I help you? And that works very well. I love it. Mercedes always does things to make you so comfortable. You can adjust your seats here. 
It has a one, two, three memory. It has heated seats. The only thing it doesn't have is a cooling area here because it's one of their base models. If you notice, it has a lot of storage here, which is great. I enjoy that. And if you notice, it has a lumbar here to pull out for your thighs, which is very comfortable. Goes in and out. I'm really enjoying it. It has large cup holders, but what I love about the cup holders, if you have a small cup and it, do, it doesn't fit, you press this button here and it pushes out that there so you can place a smaller cup. If you have a large cup, that bends back in, it goes back in. So if you just do that, just like that, it will hold a small cup or a large cup. And you have your charging holder for your phone. It will charge your phone without a plug-in. And it has a USB plug here. It has a USB plug here for your charger, regular for a cigarette lighter, but you know most people don't put the cigarette lighter in there anymore. So you know, on that note, let's check out the back seat, guys. All right, guys, so as you see, I'm getting in. It's really comfortable back here. The headroom is really great. I'm gonna close the door. Uh, it has all sorts of um, room back here, but I feel a little uncomfortable. So what I could do is slide the seat up or slide the seat back. And I'm six feet tall, so I still have enough room. And this chair is placed for me as a six foot person. So I still have knee room. And what I really enjoy is that you can actually um, adjust the seats, you can adjust the headboard, and if you really don't need to have two people in the car and you want to place items in here, like large packages, large boxes, I like that they actually have these little handles, they don't, um, you push that down and two of them fold at the same time, which is really great. And you have an extra seat for an extra passenger, but you can put a ski, skis in here, your um, bicycle in here, which is really cool, which I'm really, really enjoying. So let's take a look at the trunk or the boot. Now, once again, Mercedes with their basic models, this, this is their four Mac model. You can actually just touch the button and it has an automatic trunk opener, which if you had the third row seat in this vehicle, it you wouldn't have that much space. But right now you have 20 cubic feet for um, space and what I'm liking because, you know, I do a lot of food shopping. So remember to carry your food bag, guys. But if you wanted to actually make this a little lower, you can do this. There we go. It goes down a little lower and you have more room. See that? So, and then if you don't need the room, you just pick this back up, you put that there, and now the trunk is back to normal. So there's one thing that Mercedes-Benz has always been giving you. They have been giving you a great camera system for backing up and now they give you one for forward. They have a forward camera, which is a split screen. Now this is the back of the vehicle and this is the front of the vehicle. As you can see, you, you can see the back area, but in the front view of the camera, you can see up front of the car and on the side of the car. This is not a cartoon, this is a visual picture of the front of the car. This this car here is a cartoon character, but what actually is in front where the yellow marking is, is actually a view of the camera, which is great. I will pull up just to let you see that. When the car moves, you can see that it moves in an area where I can pull out into the road and then backing up, it shows me the full camera where I can back up and park and there's a person right there. And if I'm going too close to him, it will actually show me, it will actually let me know. See, there we go. Safety features. So this car has stop assist. This car has self parking. This car has one of the greatest features that Mercedes 
has given any vehicle. It is called uh, Mercedes Me. How may I help you? And what would you like to do? Mercedes, how can I get to New York City? Okay guys, so what I was saying before, before we get rolling, that this car has a lot of amenities, which is really great. It has a lot of pockets in the doors, I love that. And it has a lot of storage in here. And Mercedes gives you a lot of amenities, which is really appealing to a lot of people with these small compact cars. You have a lot of leg room, you have a lot of head room, you have a lot of arm room, elbow room, like, like everything is aesthetically comfortable for the passenger and the driver so like i had said zero to 60 and um 6.3 seconds that i've been getting they've been telling me it is um six seconds even but i haven't been getting it um city wise gas per gallon is um 221 um highway is i've been getting 32 so on that note let's hit the road and let's see how she does let's see how she sounds So, everything is at your fingertips with Mercedes, which I enjoy. And, and if you can notice that the feel of me driving this vehicle without even hesitating to punch her, she takes off really well. And I'm really not surprised because Mercedes does really How well. How may I help you? What can I do for you? Well, I actually enjoy that about Mercedes, but not right now, thank you. Please. So, as I was saying, that the vehicle gives you a lot of amenities, um, which is really great. I don't have complaints because for a small compact car, this vehicle for front wheel drive is um, $38,000 and for Four wheel drive, you can have two thousand dollars more, which brings the car to forty thousand dollars. And with other amenities, the vehicle might be at least forty-two to forty-five thousand dollars. So, as you notice, I'm going around some more curves inside this vehicle, and it's not that bad. It's in comfort mode, which I love. Sport mode, I get a little, you know. Just, just, just a little oversteer, and that's about it. Okay, so as you see, I'm going around some curves. I have her in comfort mode. I had it in sport mode. It had a lot of oversteer, so I put it in comfort mode, and she does well. This vehicle drives so great. And I mean, for the amount of money and the amenities that Mercedes places into their vehicles, it's amazing. I'm really having no problem driving this vehicle and being very comfortable. It's a very cold day. You would usually um, feel a little hesitance from the wind hitting the boxy window, but I'm really happy. I'm really comfortable. So on the drive and the handling, I don't have any issues with this um, 2.0 um, turbocharged four-cylinder um, horsepower 221, which is actually a reasonable amount of power for a small compact car so once again this is mercedes-benz the best of nothing at all i love that saying so this is the glb 250 it gives you 21 city 31 highway 0 to 60 in 6 point seconds i've been getting 0 seconds and 3 on that note, this is Monty Style giving you the GLB with all of its amenity. It has a lot of space. It has a lot of compartments. It has a lot of pockets. It has enough room for a small family. So 
just enjoy a really good value on the Mercedes GLB which starts out at 38,000 front wheel drive or all wheel drive will um, add another 2,000 with a little more amenities it will be probably 42,000 and with taxes maybe 45 but with a front wheel drive and a little more amenities it will start out at 38 a little more amenities that probably ended up at, at 40,000 so this is the GLB 250 the 2021 and 